Hey guys! The last time I did one of these like sit down and talk at the camera vlogs, um, I think was the day that I was like really sick with the stomach bug and um, I just needed a video up so I just kind of talked to the camera. Um, today's a little bit different. It's a good reason. I just um, I just wanted to tell you about my day. I'm actually filming this on um, Monday the 19th, President's Day in the US. Um, basically what that is, it's Washington and Lincoln's birthdays and then they combine it into one holiday. Um, and then, you know, they give kids like a day off of school. So um, I think back home they used to do like a whole week. I think they would combine a couple things in there and then you'd get like President's Week and um, most people would go skiing. But basically today I was not at work. Um, I got enough from work and my husband did not. So I was by myself. And so because he wasn't off, we didn't, um, you know, we weren't able to like schedule something fun to do or you know go out and see Black Panther we're gonna have to wait till next weekend um or like I don't know go to the park or the zoo or the whatever um nothing fun because he's at work I was by myself and I could have just sat around the house and done whatever and that would have been fantastic but instead I was like I have a bunch of errands I need to run and some stuff that I've been putting off and some other stuff that like is going to be important soon. So let's go. Let's make this a super productive day. And it was. I had like a really productive day and I'm feeling really good about it. Um, basically, I had how many errands? Let me grab this here. I ran to the craft store, went to got, uh, get some clothes, went to Costco, got gas, went and got groceries got dog food and just a bunch of other stuff. I did like the laundry today. Um, I know this sounds super like, oh, those darn kids these days, so lazy or whatever, but we don't have our own washer and dryer yet. So we've been doing our laundry at um, my in-laws house. Um, I think I mentioned that like we only moved a couple streets away from them. So it's really close um, and they're letting us use their dryer while we are we haven't purchased ours yet because um, my husband wants to get a water softener because we have really hard water in this area. He wants to get the water softener before we get appliances that the hard water can ruin. Um, so we're waiting on the test kit results and all of that. It's, it's kind of a process. So in the meantime, we have to go and bring our laundry elsewhere. So I was doing that, running errands, just back and forth, on the move all day. And for whatever reason, like, I guess I got a good night's sleep and I felt like jazzed and energized and ready to do it um and yeah i was able to power through pretty well it's starting to get i'm a little bit tired now because i've been on the go all day and um i'm 21 weeks today so like i don't know i'm starting to get a little bigger and the uh, the walking starts to kind of put some pressure um in different areas of my hips that i'm not used to um so that's you know one thing nothing important but it's just uh yeah, I guess I just wanted to turn on the camera and say like, look, I can be productive and so can you. I was going to show you, um, if you wanted to see it, just very briefly, what I actually did in my bullet journal for today. So take a look. So what I've been doing today is basically um, using like lots and lots of space because I just started in a new insert. So I'm not worried about running out of space. And I really felt like just having the to-do list in whatever order things came to mind wasn't going to be enough for me. I kind of wanted to really schedule out my day because I was going to be going back and forth um, to do laundry and then run errands and all of that. And I wanted to make sure I wasn't showing up before the laundry was dry, for example. Um, so I kind of put times here, like when I put the laundry in or when I moved it to the dryer so I can have an idea of like the next time I needed to be there. And then I just kind of wrote everything in order of what I wanted to do and then was kind of crossing it off as I went. Um, so yeah, that's what's on this page is basically everything here, but in order. And then I did cross it out here and then I put an X when it was done. Like this is the actual to-do list part. And this is just sort of an itinerary. Um, I know it's overkill, but I'm a list person. I think some people out there may think that I'm not 100% crazy for this. Um, and yeah, I just kind of, I thought it was kind of helpful to be able to sort of plan ahead for the next couple hours. I just wrote these sort of in chunks like, all right, I'm gonna, you know, put the laundry in the dryer and then I'm gonna go run these errands, get some lunch and then come home and put the other laundry in the other dryer, you know? Um, and so I knew I had like two hours before 
the laundry would be completely done, you know? Like, just to give it at least that amount of time so that I knew it would be done and I wouldn't be sitting around waiting for it. Because I can always use that time to get stuff done. So, um, yeah, this is pretty much my, my Monday. Um, I probably will put Tuesday here, maybe, um, and then flip to the next page to continue it if I need more space. Going back to work tomorrow. So as you see, nothing really special. Um, I just really like having like a place to write down what I'm doing in a list format, like time-wise. Um, having the erasable pen kind of allows me to do that a little bit with my to-do list. Like I can erase something and move it farther down the list if it's something that's gonna happen like after work or something. Um, but I don't always do that because it's not really worth it. Um, but I just, today felt like I needed that structure. So I spread out and I took all of the bougie space I needed and I didn't have to use like an external like to-do list anywhere else um, and just used what I had and it worked pretty well. So I only, I was pulling this out like in the changing room at the store and while I was in line for the gas station and stuff like that. But mostly I was just like, all right, we're going to go and do this set of errands. And then I came back and then regrouped because um, I was able to do that pretty well. But yeah, the system, man, I love it. And that's all, uh, yeah, not much to today's video, just saying that I had a good Monday and I hope you guys did too. If you got President's Day off, I hope you used it in a, a way that made you feel good about yourself. Um, even if that just means taking a nap, taking a walk, or, you know, like going and doing something fun with your family. If you had to work, I, I hope that that wasn't a bummer for you and uh, that, you know, you were productive in whatever it was you had to do, so. Um, I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you later. Bye.